<laughs> Welcome to the Maggot Nick Show. Far Steph, JTK, Pete, the whole gang's here. Uh, we've been talking a lot about Tibbs. We've, we've been talking a lot, a lot about this Knicks franchise and what potential direction they will be going into. Uh, now it's time to talk free agents. Uh, so the Knicks, in case you've been under a rock, go back and watch our last few episodes. The Knicks have hired Tom Thibodeau to a five-year contract. What does that potentially mean for marquee free agents? I think the consensus, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but the consensus across the board here is that the Knicks are kind of unlikely to be in that rebuilding phase. It looks like they're probably headed in that, you know, win soonish, not necessarily now, but soon enough phase. Am I am I wrong there? Anyone want to throw out any thoughts? No, I agree. Yeah, it's soonish. Soonish. I agree. Yeah, I'm with you. So, with that said, here's a list of some free agents. Um, let's let's just to keep this in the realm of, of possibility. Can you can you guys? Uh, oh wait, let me do a zoom thing. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, yeah. we can see. We can see it. We can see it. Right, cool. We can see it. Is that Sorry, taking, taking a minute to load up. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, we can see it. Loud and um, um, bro, in terms of free agents, it's really hit or miss because it depends if players like do they win a chip you know, this year, are they willing to go elsewhere? Uh, obviously I'm talking about Anthony Davis, uh, cause it is a possibility he's in full control. Uh, you then, I mean, have players, point guards like Mike Conley, uh, who are available. Uh, you have Andre Drummond. Yes, I know we have Mitchell Robinson, uh, but I am completely comfortable with, Obviously, some of the things I've seen from Mitch, he can play multiple positions, and I would want Drummond because he is a beast, beast, beast on the boards. And it would be fun to have some sort of like two towers. uh, While I pull up the free agent chart. You also um, have Gordon Hayward, Eric Gordon, DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. Uh, I don't want DeRozan. Anyone else want to share the screen? Because mine's frozen. No, I don't want to. It's weird what I have up. (laughs) I got you. (laughs) Thank you. <laughs> Pornography. <laughs> nah, just uh, graphics. I don't want to show the layers. <laughs> it's just anime. Drew Holiday. Yeah, let's dude. get to the real players. I think Victor Oladipo is like that high-end possibility. High, yeah, I agree. High I, I would definitely – he's a high-character person. I would definitely um, get him. And a deep and plus, great pickup. Plus, yo, he's got, he's got like a career in singing and stuff. Yo, New York's the place for him. He oh, also man. has injury uh, concerns as well. Yeah, so I, don't I don't know about all that. Uh, I mean, beggars can't time. be choosers. I would Evan definitely Fournier, get somebody like Danny no. Green uh, to make what sure about... we have people on the perimeter. Dennis Schroeder, no. Tim so Arden, since no. We're, we're we're doing the, uh, you know, we're we're doing the homecoming thing. You know, we we discuss Thibodeau, we discuss Mike Miller, Mike Woodson. You know, uh, bringing back even Carmelo. We might as well just bring back Danilo Gallinari, too. We need a stretch four, and he's a free agent. I agree with Danilo. I like, I like him. Can, I like he can, his, I he's looking good, man. Him back. I like yeah, Gallinari. He's looking good, man. We got rid and of we need a shooter. Yeah. We need a shooter, I baby. Agree. So yes. I'm all for shooters. That's what do you guys think? Um, Drew Holiday would free agents, shine in New York, I feel. I Drew Holiday Drew would Holiday be a great a fucking pickup. He's amazing, and, uh, yeah. Because that, that feels more realistic, and, and he's, a, he's a great defender, but also – a serious basketball player that I think Tibbs could get the most out of. Yeah. But right now, I, I think he's like a like kind of like a, a a big fish in a small pond. I think he he'd probably be better as a small fish in a big pond kind of thing. I agree. More um, role player. Agree. What, what about Stephen Adams? He probably uh, he's a beast, bro. Right I would there. love Stephen Adams. <laughs> that 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 would be tricky because then he's what do you do with Mitch? What do you do with Mitch, man? Bro, do yeah, what like the Denver Nuggets are doing. Like well, have some crazy tall line. Stephen Adams has dick for offense, he, so that's perfect. <laughs> He's yeah. basically a solely a defender. So I really I just like want to run out Mitch and see what he can do. Mitch is out here practicing his handles, so maybe we just move him up to some guard position at four four. True, that's what yeah. he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bro, we Seems definitely legit. need a lot of three and D so, players. What do you guys feel about um, this J.J. Redick? Of course, we can use some more shooting. Danny Green. Um, Justice Winslow is still a nice Oubre. piece. That, um, yeah. Kelly Oubre. Mm-hmm. Will Barton. Kelly Oubre is, is very enticing. Uh, I think he's going to command a yeah. big contract. But, uh, yeah. Kelly Oubre? Very yeah. enticing. Kelly Oubre, definitely. I like Spencer Dinwiddie um, for the price. Yeah. 
he he's not a bad player. He he's definitely not he's one of my smart. favorite kind of guys, but he's a very intelligent dude. Great yeah. basketball IQ as well. Yep. I, I wouldn't mind picking up. Bring back Ariza. Trevor Ariza. I wouldn't <laughs> bring him back. <laughs> Ariza. No. Not at thirty six, no. brother. Not at thirty six. Yeah. yeah no. That vote. That Yo, sales. give me give me Lou Aldang and Tony Snell. Someone call oh, him Joe Keem. No. Make him earn his money. No, oh, my no, God. no, no. Oh, We've my been there. God. Oh, Zion's a free agent? Zion Williamson, we can do that. <laughs> Yo, what list is this? Is this yeah, all free know. agents uh, with player options or what? Yeah, with options. I don't know. Did I filter? Uh, all type? option, player option. Okay, well, what's the blacking? Unrestricted free agents. Go to unrestricted, there yeah. You go. Yeah, this is more like it. Ah, uh, damn it! I knew we were having too much fun. But <laughs> 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 like, hey, I pick up some Drew Holiday. A little Yo, bit what do you guys think about that? Dennis Schroeder? No, 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 no. no. I can't take much of KCP though. though. Depends on other players. He depends on like KCP. Another, I'll take. A, I'll take KCP. Three, KCP. Fish four. How about like, Patty uh, Mills? Two or three guys. I'll take Lou Will. Nah. No, 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 no Lou Will. No Lou Will. <laughs> I'll take him and Magic City. No, I'll take Magic City before I take Lou Will. I heard their wigs are pretty good, though, so that, that's a must. <laughs> Don't give me that bullshit. Yo, the first, thing that, the first thing that comes up on Google when you type in Magic City is wings, so I think you're on something, T. See? I'm telling you, baby. I've done my research, baby. We uh, out. Don't give me no confirmation, no bullshit. Yo, first what do you think about this? Yo, Bielitsa would be a good cheap pickup because he's actually big, uh, great shooter, good solid player for six million dollars. That would be a great pickup. That would be like a legit power forward. He's, he's, he does, he's a stretch four, but I mean, like, I feel like he'd be he'd end up just like the rest of the fucking heroes <laughs> and Knicks. Oh god! But he's, he's a good stretch point. Yeah, he's he does 10, his thing for point, six, he, 10, he does his thing in second. Six ten, he could shoot. Uh, I mean, yeah, he does. He does. But I feel like I'm he's still needs like, a good team around him. A lot of these players, again, like, I feel like they need, like, Dennis Schroeder, fucking uh, him, them and Billy, so all these guys, like, need a good squad around them to do oh, anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, since we're not getting marquee. Like, what's P.J. We, Tucker going to do on the mix right now? You know what I mean? Like, he can't do nothing. Anything, no, he's going to he, be he's a contender no, Without a guard, he's, he can't do shit. He's a contender piece. They're, these guys are not coming exactly. to rebuild here. Okay, so I, I know we spoke about guys who need – uh, that we need uh, stretch fours and, and we need shooters, right? So yeah. let me just throw out two names for you. Uh, is, can we all agree that we'd be willing to uh, – our first-round picks are expendable uh, outside of this year? You know, I mean, our, our first-round pick that's going to be in the 20s via the Clippers, you know, some of the Mavericks picks, are we willing to part ways with those? Yeah. Yes, depending on right? the right player. Okay, so how about two yeah. of these names – um, and these are guys that have been rumored uh, to be, uh, you know, even with the old regime, whether it be Scott Perry or not. Um, but these are two names that have come up time and time again. <clears throat> One name I want to present to you guys, Laurie Markinen, because he is not getting along with uh, Jim Boylan, the Chicago Bulls head coach. And Jim Boylan wanted who to would you, use Who him. would you trade? Who would you trade? Uh, I'm, I'm sold, I'm but who, up, would you, who would you give up? I'm giving up a first-round pick, uh, either Knox, Dennis Smith, or Knox and Frank, maybe. Uh, something along the lines. I, I don't think it'll be too tough to be had, considering that uh, the Bulls are also rebuilding. And I think they would be willing to part ways with the first round pick uh, to with to get a, a first round pick. Lori Markinen, I think, would be an absolute fit of a steal in New York. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a steal too. I don't, I don't think that it's going to come cheap. I, I hope Leon Rose has what it takes to negotiate better than former presidents. But uh -huh. I think it'll take at least two first rounds. To Ooh, like two? a Kevin Knox and Frank <laughs> type of thing. Yo, look at what this guy put up, man. He's a yeah, force he, to be reckoned yeah, with. He he's is. no joke. Yeah, he looks better thing. than KP. Like, let's keep that in mind. Like, this, and, yeah. and granted, we got, you know, we, we, we ended up giving away a lot of contracts with KP. 
I'm not sure if Chicago is in the same position to do that much. So we would have to give up a few picks. Listen, and if they're willing that, to take some of these our, our Clippers first round this year and then a Mavericks first round, it's a done deal for me. It's an absolute done deal. Alongside Kevin Knox and Frank Nilakina. Yeah. Yeah. For Laurie Markinen, yeah. Absolutely. He's proven he's still young and he's a stretch big. And yeah. you can't win in the NBA if you don't have stretch bigs anymore. There's just there's no way. But TK, um, we need to give Frank some more time to develop and then we yeah, lose. I don't oh, give him shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> I've given him his time. He's had his three seasons and no. Uh, I, I oh, that's it, exactly the response I was hoping <laughs> for. Tune in, tune in for the next episode where we talk about Frank Nilakino for the thirty fourth time and how well he's gonna develop someday. <laughs> Um, and another right, guys, name. Let's call, let's, oh, go ahead. Uh, the, the second name. I want to go sorry. to um, Oh, yeah, yeah. About <laughs> that. We still got work to do tomorrow. Um, the second name is. Um, why am I? Why am I having a brain fart right now? Come on, guys, help me out. The uh, piston shooting guard. Ichiro Suzuki. Luke Kennard. <laughs> um, Luke Kennard, I think, is a, a piece. Thanks that we should look at. And he came up several times this season um, and in the, as far as the trade deadline goes as a potential Nick this past season. And if I'm not mistaken, they almost had a deal for him, but I think Steve Mills didn't want him or rejected the trade or something like that. But um, he's still think young. Of him adding enough value. He puts up, he puts up solid numbers. If we can pull that up, Luke Kennard is, is not to be messed with. He's a, a, a prolific score getting to the basket uh his shooting numbers are pretty solid he's a well, bonus a lot of uh, the perimeter there's a lot of undervalued threats out there you guys mentioned moneyball before i just think we never had like a smart enough uh, or organized enough office to kind of find all the little pieces to put them together yep. where they were like where the sum was greater or the whole was greater than the sum of its parts kind of thing yep. like they did with the angels and moneyball or whatever but uh I see what you're saying. Like, Luke Kennard, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mackinnon or whatever. Yeah, um, Laurie Markkinen. Laurie Markkinen. Uh, as I get older, I'm, like, more worse and worse with names. It's crazy. But, yeah, those are, like, legitimate players. I see far, like, we probably need some more picks to get those guys. But I'm, I'm with you. I like the, I like your thinking that not necessarily going for marketing names, but, like, an overall yeah. strategy of getting the right pieces together to compete. But it's, it's like building an that. economy. You got to build the middle class first. You can't get the stars automatically, right? You yeah. got to build a strong foundation and then, then attract the big plays. I agree. 100%. Yo, you should be president, Steph. <laughs> I'm going for it this year. Also, really That's quick, before we get out of here. Before we get out of here, I know where you got to go. Where, you, where you going? All right, y'all. All right, y'all. See, see, this is the problem with right, episodes <laughs> twice a year. I have a lot to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this another thing is, a lot of the names that have been coming up in <laughs> trades and free agency have been shooting guards, which I think is, is fairly interesting. We've had a lot of Devin Booker, you know, uh, Zach Levine, Oladipo. Uh, even Bradley Beal has come up uh, once in a while. And uh, I think it's interesting that maybe they're starting to look at RJ as more of a three because I saw a lot of uh, a wing player in his game last year. I didn't see him as um, a solid. You don't think he's too solid. small as a three? I don't. Not in today's modern NBA. Um, I think I he mean, was kind of too slow footed. But he can't shoot guard. either. So he can't be stretched yet. So, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a tough, like, He's a very close to the rim player, you know. So he's not really like a stretch player. He doesn't really fuck with the perimeter that much. Right. I don't know. I feel like and that, he was I feel a that's why it might be difficult. Defense. Granted, yeah. he is 19, but like I think all of his sure. advantages as they stand right now today come at the shooting guard position with his size and his ability to get to the basket. When you yeah. move him to three, all that stuff kind of becomes like table stakes. Like that's what oh. should come with a with a small forward. Bigger defenders too. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger defender. 